Your DS. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, we're recording. Now. <laughs> Welcome to Lumberjack Koala. You gonna choose yourself? <laughs> no. <laughs> so this is unknown. Uh, I'm Lumberjack. And uh, together we make unknown Lumberjack. No, Lumberjack unknown. <laughs> Today's topic. I know we've been kind of late on it. Um, I've been feeling kind of out of the weather. And then Lumberjack over here has been, what? Doing stuff in your house? Yeah. Yeah. That's not the point. We're back. And we're kind of late on this subject, but still we want to give our opinions. So here we go. Our opinions on prices of games. Uh, lately, 2K 2021... <clears throat> has been listed to be selling for what was it sixty nine ninety nine seventy dollars and the excuse is supposedly this game is being made from the ground up that's what they're trying to justify charging more for it which yeah. everybody knows is not it's not it's not what it's, it's not, not acceptable no because you know how all these like you know, like FIFA and all this stuff you every, and every time new generation starts they always try to promote oh we got a new engine yeah we got, we rebuilt it yeah. we rebuilt it that's what that's what 2K is trying to use as an excuse of why they're charging more because like, oh this is from the ground up it's a new engine new game yo so leaning back to that video we were doing the the PS5 uh, reveal thing and uh, what's it called we saw the 2K 2021 trailer <clears throat> I told I told my girl I was like hey you know does that guy look recognizable and she said, who's that? Now, that's the guy who was talking at the beginning. She was like, that looks nothing like him. So anyways, yesterday, me and her were watching Far Cry 6. She's a big fan of Gus Frame from Breaking Bad, and he's playing in the game. I paused, the, I paused the, the trailer. I'm like, look at that. How good does he look to the real person? She was like, he looks flawlessly well, spot on. Well, that's different because that's... Yeah, that's a, that's a cutscene. That's, that's a... As a pre-render cuts. Yeah, pre-render cuts. We'll see how it actually looks in game. That's but it. even even the two K twenty twenty one. That's a pre-render cutscene as well. That's just that's showing true, him yeah, just true. playing basketball. Even the cutscene for twenty twenty one just looks god awful. <laughs> I rather would have played the God of War two cutscene than, than any of that. But anyways, the prices that's unacceptable. Uh, seventy bucks. I, I don't know. Well. I'm, I think I'm kind of stretching it a bit when I say I mean, unacceptable. I don't know. People that have a Switch, they be playing stupid cri- uh, prices for games already. Yeah. So. They might sure they're overpaying shit, but they don't talk shit about that. Yeah. Uh, so I don't, I don't know what's wrong with y'all in the community. But <clears throat> anyways, back to this. Uh, I feel like when it comes to maybe it's your first party games or whatever, I'm okay with $70. Because <laughs> at least you know the quality is always going to be yeah. there. Xbox exclusives... Um, there's a lot to be desired. There's a reason there's a game pass for those games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The game pass is basically becoming the next. Like, if the game is bad, you lose nothing, so. Now, don't, don't get us wrong. I'm not a big fan of PlayStation Now either. Yeah, so. it's, I mean, it's slowly getting better, but right now, it doesn't have much. But you don't see PlayStation, uh, which I don't think anyone really acknowledged when Xbox saw Crackdown 3 come out, and they were like, oh, well, uh... We saw how y'all took this in, so from now on, we're just going to make games like Crackdown 3 and just put them on Game Pass. So they're going to make low-quality games mm-hmm. that most reviewers are going to softball and just be like, well, it's only a dollar if you join. It's yeah. only 10 bucks a month. You know, look at that. Look at that. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 no. That's the funny thing is uh, they keep, <clears throat> like, Phil Spencer and Microsoft keep promoting uh, how many sales gears of war 5 or how many were actual sales and how many were game pass yeah. or not, not even sales users how many users have played gears of yeah, war yeah like when they said yeah gears of war sold a lot and i'm yeah. like yeah most people got it for a dollar yeah through game pass but you know what you let xbox do what they got to do right they said they're going to be supposedly they're going to be wasting three some billion dollars to get um five studios from wb yeah. They're going to add on, making it about 20, 21 studios of their IPs. Um, but they don't do jack shit with any of them. I don't know how that's going to work for Mortal Kombat, because isn't that the, the creator of Mortal Kombat? He's more of a PlayStation fan than Xbox fan. Yeah, he is. So I don't know if he's going to leave the studio, or he's just flat, flat out going to... But Killer Instinct and Mortal Kombat could make a good game. It might. Could. Could. If Microsoft did it correctly. And that that will be a reason for yeah. me to be like, I need an Xbox. I'm a big fighter fan. Well, truth be told, you don't since they're trying to get Game Pass on all yeah. systems. So. We'll touch on that, but that those prices though. How do you feel? How, how do you feel on, you know, people adjusting to this? 
Well, I kind of saw it coming. You know, the games are getting bigger, you know, more expensive. But that doesn't mean they're getting better, a.k.a. Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Because they're, they're bigger, but that doesn't mean they're good. So you, you kind of okay with I mean, that. I understand. I don't, I'm not happy about it. I understand. But. How would you feel if Battlefront 2 was $60? I mean, uh, it was, was, was $70. Like right now, Battlefront like if it came out today, knowing that the microtransactions that were in it, but they said that you you won't have to do that. You can just play a whole two years <laughs> to unlock everything. They're like it's seventy bucks. No, I ain't, I ain't buying it. It's not worth it. No, I mean, like I said, like you said, it depends on quality. Like I said studio, like a PlayStation Studio game. I already know the quality, so you know, I just I would pay, but still, I'm not happy about it. But still, pay for it. Would you have paid seventy dollars for Uncharted Four? Yes. Okay. Uh, Last of Us, maybe? Yes. Okay. $70 for Mario Odyssey on the Switch. That's a toughie, mm-hmm. ain't it? Well, no. They, 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 see, that, that's the thing about it, because it, I personally say the game's okay. I don't say it's good. It's yeah. okay. So I will probably, maximum I would pay for Odyssey is $30. You said what? $30 for Odyssey. Brand new? Yeah. Because of how, you know, how, okay. How I played it, I played it, thinking about it, it's like I play it in short bursts because it gets boring real quick. Yeah. I just... When it comes to Nintendo games, I wouldn't like to stretch my dollar that, that far. I know that the Nintendo games are. The the true Nintendo games are yeah. high quality, top tier. Uh, besides Pokemon, they could just sit in the corner and die already. But, <laughs> way to destroy me. You know, me being a big fan of Pokemon, so... Ugh. Yeah, Whatever. every other Pokemon after... Yellow, I didn't care about. Yeah, but like to me, Nintendo, they, they do a good job at giving you good exclusives, right? Super Smash Brother, I wouldn't mind paying sixty dollars for it and all that. Seventy dollars, you kind of stretch it because first of all, it's a chip. It doesn't hold the same merits and quality as a PS4 game or yeah. Xbox One game. And then when the new consoles come out, is Switch still going to sell their shit for sixty dollars? Nah, I feel like you need to drop it down to fifty dollars. But now since everything's going up to seventy dollars. It's just gonna sit there and be like, "Well, we're ten dollars cheaper." Yeah, so he's probably gonna hear more yeah. more of a reason. And here's one thing I want to throw on the table that I don't feel like any YouTuber has been talking about. Since we're starting to go ten dollars up, knowing that remakes sell for about forty dollars, and the SpongeBob games sell for thirty dollars because it was just a faithful, it wasn't yeah. really tampered well, with. I honestly think I think <laughs> the prices only go up for big games like remakes. I think they're gonna stay around the same range. You don't think they'll go up to fifty? I don't. I don't think they will. You don't, you don't think maybe Blue Point Studios or any studio that does like remakes, they'll probably be like, well, they're like, well, if they can stretch it, and people are accepting it, you think we can stretch it? I don't. I don't think they'll go. See those. See Blue Point Studios are different. They have they have a passion for games. You can just tell by the quality oh, yeah. how to make those games. They have a they have a passion for games. So I doubt they'll go. Other other studios, I could see EA and Activision pushing it like. Hey, what well, is this new uh, remake of Tony Hawk? You know, what was it like? I'm assuming it's going to be like $40 when it comes out. Yeah. And they're going to be like PS5 version, $50. Oh, so, I, see, I see Activision. <laughs> see, I can see Activision, EA, and Ubisoft. Possibly Microsoft. I don't know. I feel like they would push the extra price. And knowing that we're in this supposedly pandemic, how, how, how do you think people are going to be like when they see a game for $70? <sighs> for now. Uh... All I know is those pri- uh, those sales are gonna drop quick because sales gonna drop quick. Yeah, cause it's gonna be like Battlefront two. All that's and, uh, and a- anthem just straight nine bucks. Yeah, no, but, <laughs> yeah. I, but you know what I feel like they're gonna do is just to you know just to trick people is that uh oh you know you buy the physical copy it's gonna be seventy you buy the digital it's gonna be sixty and they're like yeah that's another thing and guys um it's gonna lead into our our next little discussion about it um yeah on the store they're sixty dollars. And in physical copy, they're sixty dollars, but you get three less things. Well, two most of the time—a yeah. case and a disc. Yeah. The third is like maybe a DLC code or a piece of paper, you yeah. know, something that says I got a complete package. Yeah. You know, but you're still paying the same price. But here, here's another. Oh, there's a fourth thing. You have the right to do whatever you want to do to the physical yeah. copy, and you don't have the right. You have the permission to play it mm-hmm. on, on a digital. And uh, I say on digital, if they want to just like pull the game, it'll be blocked on your system. And just like people said with the Switch, you know, how come I can't pay cheaper on the on the Switch itself and I have yeah. to pay? Well, because retailers, you're not going to sell a game if it's selling cheaper on their online store. Yeah, that's like their policy. They're not going to do that. So if Nintendo's willing to drop the prices 
in stores, then they can drop the prices in there. It seems unfair, I know, but that's how business works. So, yeah. I don't know how we're going to see it. But this this is the next discussion. Xbox Series X is coming out this year. Supposedly, the Xbox Series S is coming out next year. First of all, they need to change these damn names. These, these names are just <clears throat> stupid. They can't brand their shit. Like, you, you think about Xbox, you like, what you got to say which series now, because you don't know which <laughs> They were watching Drake and Josh, and he was like, it's a, it's the sphere. It's spherical! <laughs> Some shit like that. See, at least with PlayStation, you just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah. It's simple. Xbox, you have all these series, Xbox One, X, just make up your mind. They're sitting there fucking doing calculation on the board. I remember back in high school, it would be like Xbox 720. You know, something like <laughs> See, that. See, that would have been simpler yeah. than Xbox One X. Like, like, double the power, double the performance. I'm like, cool. Yeah. You'd be like freaking Rich and Tuffin from uh, Call of Duty. He's like, double the power, <laughs> double the strength, or something like that. You know, yeah. he says some stupid shit. You know, something like that. Yeah. That would have been nice. Xbox One? Yeah. Thank you, guys. So I can go on Google, put Xbox One, and I just get a shitload of mixtures of emotions of the original Xbox and this Xbox. Huh. But anyways, yeah, they're coming out with the S maybe next year. There, There's no confirmation of them saying it's coming out this year. Yeah. The all-digital edition is coming out next year. That seems like a, a low like a low blow to itself. Because PlayStation is going all out saying they're going to bring out the all-digital and the disk drive one. Yes. <clears throat> so what is Xbox thinking? Why are they going to be like, oh, we're still going to manage to make it through? Yeah. I'm like, but you're not even bringing out your digital edition until maybe next year. Yeah, it might be more powerful or whatever, right? Well, that's that's what I'm saying about Xbox. But I'm just done with Phil Spencer's because he's doing a lot of talking, but it, sh- it flat out shows that the company, company, <laughs> the company doesn't have a lot of confidence in itself. Yeah, that's true. But why I'm, I'm bringing this up is because we are going to be in a predicament where we're going to have to pay $70.00. For a game that we don't even know the quality of when you pre-order or whatever digitally. Yeah. Now, note, when you get a physical copy of a game, maybe if it's trash, you can take it back. Yeah. Maybe get a return, go against the policy, get your money back if they're understanding it. Yeah. But most of the time, you're able to get rid of that copy and make some of your money back. Yeah. In the digital world, that does not work. So if you're planning on getting to the all-digital PlayStation... And which I think most of you are, because everyone wants to save money. It's understandable. Let me tell you something that's been on my mind. I feel like PlayStation and Xbox, even though the past generation when Xbox mentioned that they were going to do this from now on, yeah, and now it's becoming a thing, uh, if people buy more digitals, well, we can say goodbye to the, to the disk drive guy. Yeah, because like I like, I've been saying this for a long time. The, the day gaming goes fully digital... I'm calling it quits. Yeah. I'm, I'm done. And I, I know people are, uh, they're like, oh, no one cares about physical. Nobody cares about physical. There's a lot of benefits to physical. Yeah, there's a lot of businesses that work around that. Uh, the only thing I do uh, pretty much all digital is uh, voodoo accounts. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of trash movies out there that I like, but I wouldn't own physically, right? Yeah. So I'll get them on voodoo. But these are movies. Games are interactive thing, uh, interactive yeah. media that you play that you have a, a certain real emotion with. You see, with movies, like you can watch a million times. That movie's not going to yeah. change. For a game, you can play a million times. You can play it different, different yeah. ways. Exactly, and th- and there's different qualities to video games. More or less, when you watch a Universal film, you know all Universal films are going to have a formula. Yeah, it's always going to be you know that like that. But in a, in a video game world, there's different studios a part of a publisher, and they all have different like uh, flow and all that. Yeah, and um, in a digital world. Uh, if you don't like the game, then you're stuck with it. If you try to make a return with Sony, they might ban your account like they do some people. Yeah. Xbox probably won't even listen to you, and psh, good luck knocking on oh. fucking Nintendo's door. Well, Xbox, I've heard they become more re- reasonable oh, with so returns. Oh, so they, they're doing it? It's just PlayStation and Nintendo. They just... I think Nintendo's the worst. Yeah, Nintendo. They They hear you knocking? Yeah. And they're just like, ha, ha, ha. Thanks for playing my game. <laughs> yeah, Sony, like, Sony was just flat out, like, flat out ban you. You're over there under the door, like, I don't, I don't like the game, though. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> Thanks for playing my game. <laughs> yeah, both, both, of them, it's funny because both of the systems that have good games are the worst when it comes to return policies. They're just, yeah. they're, they're both terrible. So our message to gamers is, if you're planning on buying the all-digital, 
I recommend not to. If you are on a tight budget, okay, go ahead. But let me I'm trying to tell y'all now. If everyone decides to buy the all digital, Sony and Xbox, even though Xbox is not selling it, they're also gonna see it. They're gonna be like, people are willing to just buy the all digital. Yeah, okay. I mean, especially if you set if you set a lower price yeah. than the one with the hard drive, it's it's gonna sell more. Because people like saving money. I like going into the store using a coupon to buy something for two dollars cheaper. Okay, I bet you, I bet you, whenever the pre-orders come up for the PlayStation, I bet you the first thing you're gonna see with this pre-order is gonna be the digital PlayStation. Yeah. That's the first thing that's gonna pop up. That's gonna be the first thing sold out too. Yeah, the all digital. Yeah. So uh, I have my thoughts about uh, an online service where you can trade, and I want to make a video on it later. Um, I'm gonna gather my notes, and uh, hopefully someone hears it. And Thanks is a good idea. But right now we're in a very uh, sensitive uh, part of gaming where stuff is about to change. Yeah. In the Steam world, it seems like everyone's okay with the whole digital stuff because you can probably do returns and do all this other stuff, right? Yeah. I've never been on the Steam. um, Because Steam is more fair about it. Yeah. It's not pretty much um, (laughs) console. You buy digital. The second second you order it, the game's there. You can't do this. At least in Steam, you can't. Like, you have a certain amount of hours, but you can still get a refund listen guys I, I love digital as much as the next guy I love being able to turn on my Playstation or my PS Vita or my, my Switch and just be like bam right yeah, I mean, into yeah, the game right? there's a lot of convenience with yeah. digital I mean, like, you just jump between games and when you download it it's just the whole thing it's like, with physical when you buy a game you gotta install it and you gotta wait for the the download to finish. But but the day that your favorite game and I, I don't know why you're sitting there playing Modern Warfare 2 on PS3 again you have it on digital and then some guy out there just protesting and be like I don't like the stuff that's in that game, and they're like, ah, you're kind of racist, and then they take down the whole game. Yeah. You lost your game. You can't find a physical title in your city. I don't know how. I don't know why. <clears throat> but you can't download it no more. Yeah. It's going to be a big... I don't even know why I use that as an example. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you, that's how it happens now. Yeah. But if you're buying all digital... Say, for instance, here's, here's one big example. You buy a game. Brand new. Let's say it's Last of Us Part 2. Yeah. Just came out. The backlash was so big that Naughty Dog was like, we're pulling it. I've never seen so many offend- people get offended by the video game. I'm still offended. I'm fin- <laughs> you, you, I hit talk about it every fucking week. <laughs> no, it's just... I play the game. I'm offended by the people who are offended. I'm just laughing because you know how they always make people make fun of the people of their, you know, let's say, what was it? Well, we'll make this a separate video. Yeah. Because there's two, there's two sides of the story people get offended. There's uh, <clears throat> Just to make it easy, there's the left side that gets offended, there's the right side that get offended. Well, within a week, Naughty Dog would be like, oh, we're pulling it. Yeah. Because of all the backlash. Everyone who bought it digital, say goodbye to your $60. You yeah, ain't getting it back. It's just staying there. And uh, just like Lumberjack here, when he saw Scott Pilgrim go away, he was crushed. Yeah, there's two games, Scott Pilgrim and uh, The Cave. Those games are gone. Yep. And you, you owned them, didn't you? Yeah. And you can't download them anymore. Like, I tried to look it up in my downloads, The Cave and Scott Pilgrim. Couldn't find them. I mean, the thing about it, I think they said, if you have them installed, you're good. Oh, there was, um, fun fact, um, on the PS Vita, I had Crash Bandicoot 1 and 2 and 3. Yeah. <clears throat> all downloaded to my Vita. Because I told, I told my girl, like, I had them downloaded. Turns out they were only available for a certain amount of months. And it was right when I got my PS Vita. Oh. And then after that, they pulled it. And now when I go to my download list, they're there, but there's like a symbol on the PS Vita that shows like a little uh, uh, image display, yeah. and it has a big ass crack in the middle, oh, meaning okay. it's a corrupt file. And it says I can't download it due to a policy issue. No, mine, for like example, for Scott Pilgrim and uh, The Cave, can't search them, can't find it. It's just gone. And I, and I, I spent money on both of them. Well, at least for Scott Pilgrim, there's some hope because developers really trying to... I know it's uh, the reason they bullied because of some copyright issue. You know, I never got to play that game. I, I see it on YouTube Sound, so much. Like, like, I know a lot of people hate the uh, 8-bit 2D thing, but Scott Pilgrim is a fantastic. The soundtrack gameplay is just so good. So anyway, guys, we're going to leave you off with this. Next generation is coming. What you going to do? You going to sit there? You going to buy it? What, what you going to do? Who knows? <clears throat> It's all your decision on how this world changes. We have the power to tell these publishers and all that that we want something else. We don't want this. We don't well, want that's, that. Well, that's one other thing. This generation, so you know, stuff is going to be more expensive. 
developers are quickly going to find out what gamers want and don't want. Because yeah. if you make a sports game seventy dollars, you already know the those fans are going to get it. But you're going to see like the casual fans, you're going to see a drop in the sales because they're like seventy dollars for that now. At the end of the day, my opinion is I would rather buy a disc drive. I do accept the 70, but only on certain games. Yeah. If you're going to have microtransaction in your game, you should not. You should not sell your damn stuff for $70. Yeah. That's sports games, racing games, any EA games. <clears throat> Look at Fortnite. They're successful and they have a free game with microtransaction. Yeah, they, they make that is the right way to do it. Yeah, that's, that's a good way of doing it, but... I don't know. As much as I don't care for that damn franchise anymore after season three, they're the only ones that got it right. Yeah. You sit, sit there and tell EA, and they're like, ooh, ooh. What's Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, guys, uh, thanks for hearing our opinions. I hope to see you on the next one. Good night.